you know, it's very impossible almost to sum it up in two conclusions, but I think the one thing that comes out, we talked about very big projects and very small projects and no money. So the reality is to create a good city, you have to have the big projects and the small projects and the money will come over many years. So you have to have a 20 or 30 or 50 year plan and then you decide how and what you deliver and when and when will you have the money. So you know that if in 10 years you have to have so many billions to d deliver a piece of infrastructure, you can start planning now, you can protect the land for that infrastructure, but you might not start building for another 10 years. So that is important. I think you know Mexico City is a very interesting city and it's not completely unlike London where I come from. It's spread out, there are lots of different areas and people are traveling mainly into the center and out again. So you have to think about transforming so people don't always travel in and travel out, but maybe travel sideways or stay in their area, live and work in their area. So you, this is about land use planning legislation so that you create air neighborhoods that are not just all office or all housing, but actually you mix it all together so people can maybe walk to their work or cycle to their work. and you reduce the number of people that are traveling on the transport network. For me, the main message is that Mexico City has to change its attitude to the car. The car, you know, era of the car probably died 20 years ago, but it's, it's dying very slowly. And people are still hanging on to the car, and those who get a bit more money, it's their status symbol that they've come up in the world. And we've got to just simply park the car away, throw them all away, and think differently about mobility. So there are solutions to this. I mean, is this better transport, walking and cycling? But in time, we will have, you know, potentially autonomous vehicles, but I, they shouldn't be private cars. Those autonomous vehicles should be dealing with deliveries of services, but also, you know, acting as part of the transport network. And maybe instead of like a bus goes from A to B to C on a, on a route, the autonomous buses, for example, could go on demand. So if 10 people get in and a, a computer calculates the best way to deliver all these 10 people to where they go. So it's, but I think the idea of owning a private car is on its way out. And I think the sooner that Mexico City can get r its head around thinking, we don't love the car, it's an embarrassment, it's a cancer in our city, but instead we are going to enjoy our city by freeing it up and making space for people.